Hey guys, welcome back! Today I'm gonna do something just a bit a little different than I've done in a while. I haven't done any tutorials. Well, now today's a tutorial! Guess what it's on? Got it. Redstone. Not redstone blocks. Command blocks. Too many blocks in Minecraft. I guess that's the point. Anyways, the command block is very complicated. I have found that out myself, and there's much you can do with it that I really want to be able to do. And I haven't quite done it all, so while I'm experimenting, I'm going to be sharing all my discoveries with you guys so you can, you too can figure it out and make sense of everything. So let's jump right in. Today we're going to learn a very simple command. It's just one command that we need to do, uh, that you need to learn. It's just a very basic command. And we'll start with slash give. And what that does, it will give a designated player or set of players a certain item. So we can use that give and we set the amount of players. So we can do at P and it also tells us other options. At P is the target's nearest, at R is the random player, and at A is all players. So we randomly get one. And we're going to give myself a dime. So what we'll do is activate this and it gives me one dime. So now we have a diamond. Now the first part we need to understand is you don't need the slash because the slash is just to tell the console in your chat that's important in your chat so your console knows that this is a command. But then you type in what your command is and that's give and at p is the designated player. You can also put in a username. There's my username and it will still give me a second diamond. And then you specify what it is. So you can give anyone something like a diamond or an emerald. Anything. Now I have an emerald and a diamond. Or two diamonds. And so if you're ever wondering what else you can put in there, you can type slash help and then give. And it will show you the entire list of things. So you have the code itself, then you have the player, the item, the amount, the data, the data tag. So the amount here shows how many you could give them. The data is describing which way it would be facing. I mean, which, which, for instance, if you have, if you're giving someone a skeleton skull, a skull, or a, like a skeleton skull, it, they are all different names. They have different names. So this one is four is the data tag for this one, and three is for that one is just regular Steve head, and you can pretty much do give yourself anything you want there, and you can just specify what you want. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about this command box today. We will be covering a lot more next time in the next episode of how to build a house out of these and several other commands that you will be learning. Because you will be learning very interesting that can do many things. So stay tuned, subscribe, comment, and rate, and I will continue to teach.